Hey, what's happening? We're Alta Bridge and you're watching our hard drive Ask Anything chat. Big thanks to Lou Brutus and United Stations for having us on to talk about the new album, Walk the Sky. All right, we've got questions here behind us. We're going to pick them at random and uh, answer, I guess, the best that we can. This will be interesting. Take it away, Miles. Jenny from San Jose, California. If you guys were in a lip sync battle against each other, Ooh. what song would you pick in a lip sync battle? Um, I'd pick Here I Go Again by Whitesnake. That's a good one. That yeah. is a good one. It's a great song. My, uh, my go-to would probably be the Pina Colada song. Mm. Ooh, I like that one. That's, uh, that's my karaoke go-to, yeah. so I think a lip sync battle would probably, probably right. be good. It's I'd have to have some props, some backup Give dancers. Like Pina Coladas. Yeah. Sasha from Los Angeles uh, asks, uh, have there been pictures from your career that you'd still look at that blow you away? <laughs> Um, the, uh, man, so back in the, uh, back in the old days, uh, before our boy here was with us, um, we got talked into do, doing a, a shirtless band pick, uh, back in the old Creed days that still haunts me in my dreams at night to this day. We've had friends that have made t-shirts with it, um, we had a beer pong competition once where my buddy had that picture put on all the beer pong, the uh, ping pong balls. Um, so that's probably one from, from the old days. Uh, the Alter Bridge days, I can't think of any that were, well, back when you had your hair stylized. Stylized. What you need to do is stylize your hair. That was. Our, our first manager yeah. came, up to, came up to me when we first started jamming together. And he's like, Miles, what you need to do is stylize your hair. <laughs> and I... So Homeboy went out and got highlights oh, put in there. Yeah. And we did a, the very first Alter Bridge shoot that we did uh, around Orlando in easily 110 degree weather. It wasn't bad. It just, you could tell that we were sort of uh, new to this whole thing. There you go. Siri from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Who in the band do you think would be a bad date and why? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a great question. I think we each we have pretty bad. would ha have moments of, of being a bad date. Mm -hmm. I, Mark would be bad because at least when I first started playing in the band, he had this game that he liked to play <laughs> called Credit credit card roulette yes and so if you went on a date he might decide yeah so what we do is we put both our credit cards under the table and and whichever one the server picks is the one who pays for for dinner this so is, that wouldn't be true. a good that wouldn't be a good date i always got Hated, lucky with that game like it was me. it was denny's when it was me and it was like miles or ben gross remember he was he like, got stuck was like with a six hundred dollar yeah, meal or something like that i hated that game i didn't like that game good old credit card roulette, credit card roulette. Natasha from France. Do you guys listen to music while taking a shower? Was that the best place to practice songs from the new album? For me personally, it's pretty hard to practice my parts in the shower. Um, playing the drums. <laughs> I think guitars don't do well in the shower. No, I think it's... Yeah. Um, now your parts... Yeah, you know. You could, you could do could, a lot of that. I could, I could do that. Although I don't sing much in the shower. No? No. That's, people always do. I, maybe I need a bigger shower. This is a better, better reverb. It doesn't have good reverb. No. It's just, it doesn't have the no, those, ambient. Those Mid-century moderns normally mm. were not known for their acoustic Principles, elements. right. James from Concord, North Carolina. How long does it take to make a set list for the tour, or does it differ from each venue? about how many songs from the new album will make the list. Uh, we just actually, we did that. It took us about uh, 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it took us, I don't know, 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, and we try to have it differ a little bit from show to show. So we have audibles. It might be two songs that we'll, um, you know, pull one out, put one in. And, uh, yeah. But you want to have it so that you are comfortable with whatever you're going to embark on. Um, and it tends to evolve over the tour mm -hmm. as well. Like we'll start with 
one and have alternates, you know, try to work in a two or three songs that can swap spaces each night. Um, but after a while, you start to see kind of it evolved into something else. Right. We normally do anywhere 17 to 19 songs per night. Depends on the curfew. And now, we'll, and he asked how many songs we'll be doing. We'll probably be doing at least six off the new record. Oh, yeah. But for at least four a night, but six, seven total. Yeah. But it'll Maybe be, more. We'll do more eventually. Yeah, we'll see. Omar from Peru. Any chance? Uh, any chances you'll come to Peru for the Walk the Sky Tour 2020? Thanks. Um, we are definitely planning on a South America uh, run on this album cycle, um, sometime in 2020. Uh, hopefully, Peru will be on that list. We've already made the journey down there. We might as well hit all the markets we can while we're there. Mm -hmm. So, stay tuned. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Anna from. Uh, Beaufort, Beaufort, Texas. Did Walk the Sky come out sounding like you planned it before you started recording? I think it certainly evolved a lot from the first concept of it to, to where it finished out. I think musically and song-wise, uh, yes. I think some of the extra textures that we added to it, um, some of the demos had elements of that, but it, it definitely evolved once the four of us and Elvis uh, got involved with the, uh, the pre-production process. So it, uh, it certainly took on a life of its own once we started recording it. Bob from Pontiac, Michigan. Where's the weirdest place you found one of your guitar picks? Um, I just found, the other day I was w w walking and my foot felt weird for miles. And I realized I had a guitar pick in my shoe. That was strange. That is strange. Irene from Lancaster, PA. What would you steal from the band member to your immediate right? You can't steal anything. No, no. Well, I'll tell you what I'd steal. Your charm. <laughs> uh, Lanny from Toronto, Ontario. If you could host a dinner party for any celebrity guests, who would you invite and why? Uh, George Clooney seems like he'd be a good time. Yeah. With the, uh, with the tequila. Seems like he's a, a man's man, like a, a good <laughs> right? dude you could hang out with. Or like Charlize. Oh, well, yeah. You've, he's, got a, he's, got, he's got a thing for Charlize Theron. Yes. Yeah. All right, how about you? Uh, I, I, there's so, so many interesting people out there. It'd be somebody that I... I I'm kind of, I kind of like to learn things from people, like mm -hmm. people who are intelligent, more intelligent than me, which isn't hard to find. No. Uh, <laughs> um, There's a room full of them right here. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I think it would be... You know who's, who, who, who's intrigued me of late? Follow on on Insta. That's what the kids are calling it. Uh, it's not the Insta. It's called Insta. Insta. That's what the kids call it. Right. Uh, is, Ru is, is Russell Brand. Oh yeah, and he's he's on a really cool like, um, like a spiritual path that I think is pretty groovy, and and he's and he's got some real enlightening things to say. Either be him or this cat named Ram Dass. That would be a, that would be awesome. Okay. Yeah. Trina from Winnipeg, Manitoba, a country you really want to tour in, 2020. Hmm. Canada. There for you sure. go. A proper Canada tour. Proper Canada tour. Canada tour. Yeah. We always just kind of, you know, touch Toronto, touch on Toronto and Montreal. Montreal. But we, we need to get up and we need to hit more of Canada. You know, we love Canada. Canada's great. Right. Dahlia from Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you can make any activity you're good, make any activity you're good at into an Olympic sport and you could win a gold medal doing it, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's an interesting concept. <laughs> um, uh, I probably would go back to uh, some type of a drinking competition. Yeah, you'd, you'd be would, the you would be like pretty good at that. You, yeah, drink responsibly. Right. Uh, let's see here, Vanessa from Dublin, Ohio. Favorite concert shirt you had growing up? I had. A, everybody knows I'm a huge Living Color fan, uh, and I had. Before I ever went to their show, I had, this is how off the charts crazy I was for them. 
I had a guy airbrush my own custom living color shirt uh, wow. and wore it to the show and was lucky enough to get all the guys to sign it afterwards. That's cool. Yeah. Still have it to this day That's somewhere. Good. All right. Thanks again to Lou Brutus and United Stations for having us in for our hard drive. Ask anything chat. New album, Walk the Skies, out now. We'll see you out there on the road. <laughs>